Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host, Veteran Mountain Man. So, let's talk about some of the insanity that we've been seeing on the news lately. It seems that every progressive Democrat and their brother is coming out to run for 2020. Now, in some of the front runners, we have lukewarm milk toast Gillibrand. Let's be honest, she's a Hillary retread 2.0. Hillary was not interesting to the American people and only won because of the superdelegates. She's not going to win. She doesn't really stand a chance with her flip-flopping and running from less extreme to more extreme and back on her own party's merits. Now we've got Kamala Harris. Now Kamala Harris checks all the intersectionality checkboxes, but she's got one serious fundamental problem in her record. She was a prosecuting attorney. Not only was she a prosecuting attorney, but she was a prosecuting attorney and a state AG, which means that she was an attorney general, which meant she picked prosecuting attorneys. And during her time in California as a prosecuting attorney and as an AG, she was very, very aggressive in minority crime management. And so I think even in her own party, she's going to be torn apart on this, especially because of the BLM movement and the Me Too movement and the fact that even while she was being tough on crime, all of this sexual assault was going on throughout the entirety of Hollywood, which is in the state of California. So I think she's got a fundamental optics problem here. Now, another one that is in the running, or is being considered in the running, is Old Mumbly Joe. Old Uncle Joe. You know, creepy Uncle Joe, who has been seen time and time and time again in stills, never caught by the Me Too movement, but constantly being a creep. In fact, some of his behavior is reminiscent of Harvey Weinstein's behavior in public. There are images of him being really close and handsy with women. There are several images where it looks like he's smelling their hair, different women. And uh, this gives him a Me Too optics problem, a serious Me Too optics problem, which is where another candidate is having some issues. Old shyster fraud honeymooned in Moscow during the Iron Curtain, Bernie Sanders. That's right, the socialist Democrat from Vermont, which, yes, he is still a Democrat, even though he is technically an independent. He is still a Democrat. He's always been a Democrat. He will always be a Democrat. He votes with the Democrat 95% of the time. He only breaks with him about 5% of the time. That's a Democrat. Sorry, people. I call a spade like a spade. He's a spade. It doesn't matter that he self-identifies as an independent. He's not an independent. And all of you out there claiming that you're independent, but you're exactly like him, you're not independents either. You're progressive Democrats. You just don't want to put the name to the title. Uh, he's got a serious optic problem because apparently in 2016, his campaign had multiple sexual harassment claims and he didn't address them. Not only that, but he is getting to the point where if he runs, he will be the oldest man to have ever run for president and uh, in all likelihood would die of an aneurysm in office. Now, President Trump is in a similar situation here. He's very old, not quite uh, the oldest we've ever had, but he will be when he runs in 2020. And uh, that's, that's definitely a danger scenario. Uh, we also have... Believe it or not, plenty of people talking about AOC running. And of course, she's upset because she won't be eligible for 2020 because she's not old enough. And she thinks that the Constitution should need to change and that the Electoral College needs to change as well. Now, this is a huge red flag, people. Not only is AOC dimmer than a three watt light bulb, but we don't need to be changing the Constitution to justify the desires of a single individual. There's a reason constitutional amendments require a plurality of states and a plurality of the Congress plus the president's order. And that is because 
changes to the Constitution are permanent and lasting. We've only ever had one removed, and that was the prohibition of alcohol. And realistically, the only reason prohibition passed was because it was assumed that the alcohol being prohibited would only be hard spirits and that wines and beers would still be available. If they had actually mentioned that the actual process was going to be all alcohol removed, prohibition would have never passed. Okay, now uh, we do have one more, and that's uh, Beto O'Rourke, the guy who lost to Ted Cruz in Texas. That's right, the guy who Instagrammed his teeth cleaning sounds like uh, Kerouac on acid, and uh, hey, he's a cool kid, he rides a skateboard. This guy is a straight white man. He's Irish, he's not really intersectional enough, he speaks a lot like Bernie Sanders, he's almost like Bernie Sanders 2.0, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that AOC already is. And so, we've got a serious problem. Now, for those of you who don't believe me that AOC is about as dim as a 3-watt light bulb, uh, you should go check my Twitter feed, because yesterday I took AOC to task. She was talking about how it's uh, immoral for billionaires to exist while people in Mississippi are getting hookworm. Well, turns out hookworm is a common parasite in rural communities. Who knew? Well, uh, originally she had said ringworm. Well, you know what? Wrestling teams all over the country have to bleach their mats to keep ringworm from outbreaking. Ringworm is a common type of infection. It is all over the country. Nothing medical science can do to stop it. All you can try to do is use cleanliness techniques to try to mitigate it. And even then, you still have infections that occur. Now, I've never caught ringworm, but I have seen plenty of people who have. It just happens, people. Uh, another thing, I went ahead and stopped her from even trying to move the goalposts further. I told her that roundworms are also a major issue in agricultural and in pet communities, and so is anthrax, because, you know, there are cases of cutaneous anthrax all over the country on a regular basis, usually in rural cattle districts, where people have had to clean up carcasses, due to privation from predators, which is very common in places like Oregon, and uh, they'll end up with a, a subcutaneous or a skin-based anthrax lesion. And uh, usually it's caught from the anthrax that's naturally occurring in the cattle itself. Well, that is our rundown of the crazy Democrats running for president in 2020. So far, it seems that uh, we've got nothing but a hotbed of insanity coming at us, and of course, creepy old men. Well, I want to thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, or to come over to BitChute, thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my social media sites down below. I do take AOC on on a regular basis. I do also take on Democrat senators and representatives that I catch lying on Twitter as often as I can. I'm not on there 24-7 because I can't really be on my phone while I'm working. But when I'm not in the office, I usually try to keep apprised of what the opposition is tweeting and refute them on a regular basis. Thank you all again for joining me, and have yourselves a beautiful day.